quite shocking story about human remains or bones that have been found in the eastern region. So the police has uncovered human skeletal remains or and um, stuck in sacks and polythene bags at Lata Ikuapim in the eastern region. The remains were found on a refuse dump in uh, a valley. According to the police, on November 7, a resident reported to the Ekropong District Police Command about seeing human skeletal remains on the refuse dump. The police, in the company of the complainant, went to the scene and found the human parts. The police, after observation and inspection, suspected that the bones were old and could have been dumped there for a longer period. Preliminary investigations by the police suggest the human skeletal parts may have been dumped there by grave looters or estate developers. Meanwhile, the Deputy Eastern Regional Police Public Relations Officer, Sergeant Francis Gom uh, Gomado, um, has advised the public to re remain calm and report suspicious characters for action as investigations into the discovery of the human parts continue. And uh, clearly those are some scary quite scary human skeletal uh, found at a refuge dump. And uh, we are going to be giving you an update of that particular story. Actually, uh, started coming, we started picking those hints last night. And uh, we want to go to the phone lines now and speak to the Deputy uh, Public Relations Officer of the Eastern Regional Police Command, Sergeant Francis Gomaru. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon, Martin. How are we doing? Very well, thank you. Uh, how were these skeletons discovered and has the police been able to um, at least handle the situation you know, to the extent that you don't have other people come in there to tamper with the bones that you found? Uh, yes, actually, as the story is, uh, uh, we've been able to handle the situation in a very professional manner uh, to the extent that the yes, scam has returned to the police. Right. Uh, as we speak, the, 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 the remains, the skeleton that we've all seen on the screen are in the custody of the police. And as we already said, we are suspecting that it might come from either grave looters or maybe contractors who are working on a project. Mm. Because we know some of our uh, areas were once uh, cemeteries and now development is catching up with those communities. So these are the two issues that we are actually suspecting for now. Is but you know, as human as we are, people will be scared about the, the emergence of some of these things. Mm. That's why we are calling for calm to remain so that we all do our individual investigations as to unravel the circumstances that led to the dumping of this uh, 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 human remains at, at, at the refuge. Are there, is this a certainty that that area or somewhere close by was a cemetery can you do you have that on authority or you are for now speculating that it probably was a cemetery and because of development they found those bones and they've dumped them there no martin as a matter of fact we don't have that as a fact okay you know but you know issue of this nature certain questions will come to mind mm. are you getting my point mm. that's why we are saying that either maybe it might be great looters or maybe there's a a cemetery that is being developed and maybe the people working around the area discover some of these things. Mm. So we are, for now, we don't have any concrete evidence as to where the, 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 the bones were coming from. Okay. That's why we are saying that everybody should remain calm. Well, so we all do our due diligence, individual investigations, and f come out with something concrete. Either it was a great looters, maybe within the enclave, Mm. or elsewhere, or okay. there's an ongoing project that actually brought about this thing. And you also said that, uh, at least it's still uh, speculative, but you also said mm. that the bones looked old and there's a possibility they must have been dumped there much, much earlier. How are you able to yeah. measure or tell the age of the bones? No, for now there's no forensic examination right. to determine how old the bones are. Okay. Oh, yeah, are you getting my point? I do. But on the look of it, on the face of it, they look very old. Mm. You, you can even see that there's no flesh anywhere on any of the bones. Mm. Are and you getting me? For now, there's no forensic examination for now. Okay. And the sacks, mm. we're told that the bones were in sacks and in bags dumped there. Do these sacks yeah. and bags 
um, look like new or they also are quite old? No, as for the policy bars, uh, I can't determine whether they are new or old because even depending on the circumstance, something that was bought yesterday can look old depending on where you find it. Mm. Are you getting my point? Okay. So for the bags, we are not able to determine whether they are fresh bags or old bags. But and because the place is, is a refuse dump. And have the people there, I mean, clearly this might be new, but have the people there hinted you yet of knowing the source of all the, uh, any suspicious Please, come, characters? Come, come, come again. Yeah, I'm asking whether the people in the area, or the, uh, the community where these bones are, uh, were found, have come out to give you any information so far regarding um, whether they have citizens who are missing, family, relatives, or they just suspect it probably was from outside and was dumped there? Oh, no. Actually, there's no report for any uh, body within the enclave as to whether somebody got missing. And No, no, no. no. There was nothing like that. Okay. Indeed, it was even the public that gave us the information that they found such a thing somewhere and we have to proceed as a police. Are you getting my point? Okay, and, and finally, how now, many are they? How can you count, were you able to count and what's the quantity of bones we're talking about? Actually, for the quantity, I can't put it out there. But you know, we have various components made up of the skull, the thighs, the legs, and all that. We have those components, but for the quantity, we are not able to quantify it for now to tell you that, oh, we have 20 skulls or 5 skulls or whatever. Okay. I can assure you that they are all in the custody of the police. Of the police. And we instituted a full-scale investigation as to whether we can link this thing to a group of people or some person. Or something. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Francis uh, Gomado, thank you so much for making time to speak with us. He's a Deputy Public Relations Officer of the Eastern Regional Police Command. Definitely uh, a story that we are interested in. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted. Uh, in our subsequent bulletins,